and welcome back to a special edition of the Monday After Review, where we cover all things Donald Trump. Wait, 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 wait. This whole episode is going to be about Donald Trump? There are literally like 15 emails about this. It's a good thing we don't get paid for this, because sometimes I don't think you take it very seriously, Vitals. You don't get paid for this? No. And we're going to come back to that, because now I kind of feel like you do get paid for this. Also, the microphone's pointed at the ceiling. Uh, it's not even plugged in anyway, dude. First up, a group of students and engineers at the University of Michigan have created the world's largest hand-solvable Rubik's Cube. This Rubik's Cube will join the list of world's largest attractions, such as Cocker City, Kansas's world's largest ball of twine, Illinois' world's largest ketchup bottle, or is it ketchup? I don't know. Whatever, I never understood the difference between those two anyway. And of course, Washington, D.C.'s world's largest asshole. See, I bet you guys were wondering where that was going with Donald Trump. For all you Christians out there, in Easter news, the White House held its annual Easter egg hunt, and children reacted to Donald Trump just as expected. I can still hear the scream. There was also a Kellyanne Conway sighting. All right. We're going to zoom up in here, see if we can find out where monsters go in between lies. Over in entertainment news, actress Julia Roberts was named World's Most Beautiful Woman for the fifth consecutive time by People magazine. Stepping out of the Twitterverse to respond, Donald Trump went all Kanye West when he placed an ad right in the middle of the article stating, Yo, Julia, I'm really happy for you, but Ivanka has one of the best bodies of all time. The best. Big league. And over in sports news, the New England Patriots, whether you think they cheated again or not, had their championship visit with the White House. Some players protested and didn't show up, and those that did chose to wear their alternate uniforms. And as is customary, the president was presented with his own personalized game jersey. And finally, after several allegations of sexual misconduct, Bill O'Reilly was dismissed by Fox News last week. Wait, I, I had to have read that wrong. Fox News has never cared about sexual misconduct. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Bill O'Reilly is dismissed by Fox News because all of the settlement money added up to more than he's worth. Whoops, forgot to tie that last one into Donald Trump. So here you go. I guess the only sexual predator that gets to keep his job is the pussy grabber in chief. Because he's... He's holding a cat. In a picture. That's been the Monday After Review. I'm DT. See you next week. Or the week after that. However that works out. Alright, so take a look. Like, I don't have any of that stuff on my script. Yeah, why don't you read the first line then? Hey everyone, it's Beatles with the Monday After Review. Yeah, that's last week's script. Nobody prints out my week's scripts for you. Those are in your email. Well, I don't have them in my email inbox. What email are you sending it to? Is it proskater69xxx? No, I sent it to btails at gmail. Did you have three X's in that email address? Dude, I haven't used the btails email in, like, forever. Wow, that explains so much. You know, dude, whatever. I mean, no one's... I mean, people probably aren't even watching this still. Well, for those of you that are watching still, please like and subscribe. Button's right over there. Which is probably nobody... No likes or subscribes this week. Watch Beat Tales next week. <laughs> <laughs>